Yeah. Let's get some reactions. There is an olive branch being extended to other candidates in the race by Usman Ododo. But what does this mean? What does this victory mean? What uh, the outcome of that election? What is it? We've been hearing from the candidate in Kogisa tonight. I'm being joined by the candidate of the People's Democratic Party in that race, Senator Dino Melaye, joins us live here in our studio. Thank you so much, uh, Senator Melaye, for joining us tonight. Yeah, good evening, Shehu, and yeah. um, good evening, Nigerians. Uh, Usman Ododo there, extending an olive branch to you to join him to discuss the progress of Kogi State. Would you be accepting that and uh, for the interest of your state? And darkness and lights don't concur, so um, there's no relationship. So you won't be taking, you won't be uh, taking that olive branch? Darkness and lights don't concur, I repeat. No, no, I'm, that's a parable. It's not a parable, meaning we are on parallel lines, we have no meeting points. You never work with them? I don't work with darkness. That's Usman Ododo. I operate in the light. Usman Ododo, I mean... The APC, Usman Ododo, Yaya Bilo, I don't relate with darkness. All right. I mean, I guess you understand better what you, what you mean. But, but then you were not able to vote. You did not go out there on election day to vote. It's not this, this um, sitting. Is it about whether I voted or not? Or no, no, I'm just asking you. No, no, we are, we're, talking, we're yeah, going to talk about the election the, and your reaction the, to the, it. The issue of voting or not voting, understand, have no legal status. People win elections from prison. So if we want to go into the discussions about this election, the processes, the conclusions, sort of buying time to discuss issues that have no relevance to the election. I'm asking you. Legally, have no relevance to the election. So you don't think so there is an explanation to you not going out to vote? Whether I voted or not, I've just said it's immaterial because there's no legal status. Or whether you voted or not, I said people who were even in prison win elections from prison. So it's better we talk, about, we talk about we talk about we talk about it's, it's good we talk about the processes of this. You don't want to tell your followers why you should not vote. Down. I'm just I'm still telling you that that is completely immaterial to this problem. You don't want to comment about it. I don't want to talk about it. Yes. Is there a reason why? I don't want to talk about it, and I have the right to say so. All right. But that's what I mean. It's up to you. Thank you. Well, let's talk about your reaction to this election. What do you make of it? You've been saying that you have your grievances about this election. What exactly is it? To start with, there was no election. To start, what we saw on Saturday? There was no election, and I'm going to prove it, yeah. There was only a location of votes by INEC. The election is, uh, is, is shameful. And I sympathize with this country. I sympathize with the citizens of Kogi State. And it's a big, big shame that Mahmoud Yakubu, who have children and um, the school travelers, will manifest the kind of satanism that took place in Kogi State yesterday. As I speak with you, I am completely ashamed that. INEC had an opportunity to correct, to ameliorate, to palliate their mistakes, deliberate mistakes in the last presidential election. But instead, they have decided to compound the worries of Nigerians over our democratic process. What we saw yesterday was not democracy. Mahmoud Yakubu is the bane of democratic development in this country. He is a major problem to our democracy. And he has proven again that he's not capable of being um, a repentant soul. Is, this because, as, as, is it because, Senator, that you lost this election that you're speaking in this manner? This, this is not the first time I'm losing elections. And I've never come out to make complaints like this. If I lose honorably, if I lose in a free, fair, and credible election, I will congratulate the winner. So this was not uh, credible as far as you're concerned? It is not even close to credible. You, you, you put forward um, some, some, some document, uh, which will probably will allow you to speak to tonight, and perhaps you might be able to explain to Nigerians what you meant by the fact that this election was not free and fair. For those who think that uh, they voted in the election, but they did not vote anyway, for let you. Me, so well, that perhaps they say, well, oh, maybe start. Dino is not... Um, uh, is not uh, uh, he's not a good sportsman. That's why you're saying It no. is not about being a good sportsman or not. It's about integrity. It is about the credibility of the referee. It's about the credibility of Einek and Mahmoud Yakubu. Let's break it down. Let me, let, me, let me come down to you. 
In 2019, the Abelo wrote results in Okeneluka government to the tune of 112,000 to the APC and less than 1,000 for the PDP. But when Beavers operated in the February election, where we voted for the National Assembly and presidential elections, in Okene local government, APC had 20,000 votes, and the PDP had 12,000 votes. So in Okene local government, total vote cast was less than 40,000. This year, February, and in the elections yesterday, Okene local government alone voted about 150,000, close to 150,000 votes. Because, I mean, uh, the, 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 the governor <laughs> was awarded 141,538 votes. So you now imagine the same local government that produced less than 40,000 votes in February, the same local government now is producing close to 150,000 votes. Then go back and check. INEC is shameless. INEC is oozing. The RF yesterday showed the correct accredited voters. And we've, what is that? And, and we've downloaded all that already. We've downloaded it already. So you have? By, we downloaded it all yesterday. By today, they've started tampering with it. But what I have here is from the back end of INEC. And I challenge Mahmoud Yakubu and every staff of INEC to incorporate this document that I have. What do you have? On, 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 from Okene local government. Registered voters in the local government. I'm not talking of PVC collected. I'm talking of registered voters in that local government. It's 151,243. Then, That's at, for Okene local, local government. Then you have, for accredited voters, 73,150. Then you now have APC alone scoring 141,538. When you have 73,150 accredited voters, then APC alone scoring 141,538. And if you look 141,538 to the registered voters, not, you must know that, Shew. Mm. I'm not talking of PVC collected. I'm talking of registered voters. So if you have 151,248 registered voters and 141,000, that is over 90% of registered voters, not PVC collected. Even in the United States of America, that is the most civilized country in the world, this cannot happen. Then you come back to Adavi, where you have 114, 663 registered voters, and you have accredited voters of 55,115. Then you have APC um, scoring 103,172. You find out that this is more than double of the accredited uh, voters. And that is exactly what happened in almost every local government. And you have your own evidence yeah. uh, to back this up. I mean, very, very for, well so. for what really happened, because the result that was turned in and collated and the local government area you are saying that it, uh, it was inflated. Completely inflated. See, this is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. There were over voting in 17 local governments, including my local government, the Jumu local government. Over voting in 17 local governments. I gave you this document, um, I'm shown. It's very clear. You can see it there. You can look at what is on, 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 the, on the screen right now. Yes. So you, you highlighted Adavi and Ajaukuta, for example. The, those are on top. So accreditation on the ec No, no, no. What, what you should look at is accreditation on, from EC8A. You can see what it is. Then see, what, see, see the discrepancies with what you have in Brevers accreditation. Just look at it. It's so clear, so open, so brazenly done, so shamelessly done. So ridiculously done. This is institutionalized and scientific rigging. So I have in, seen in, in Adavi, different. in Adavi, it was eighty-eight thousand on this hand. But, yes. the, of, uh, but those who originally, according to you, yeah. really the real voters yeah. who went for accreditation, as captured by the IRF, yes. is twenty-six thousand. That is That's about for almost uh, sixty thousand 
different. Different, that is it. And that is what happened in 17 local governments across the state. And INEC went ahead to declare these results. Remember yesterday when INEC made a press release, they said there were discrepancies or reported discrepancies in five local governments and that they were investigating it. INEC said they were investigating it. While you were investigating, you went ahead to declare those local governments. You made a video about uh, Ugori Magongo yes. and some other areas. So yes. INEC eventually said election and are going I, to I, be INEC conducted. now said that they were investigating, they stated it in their press conference. They were investigating Okene, they were investigating Adavi, they were investigating Ogori Magongo, they were investigating Ajakuta, and they were investigating Okehi. While we were waiting for the report of INEC or the report of their investigation, they went ahead to declare these fictitious written results. You saw yesterday that a lot of coppers or, or pulling clerks or agents were all arrested with pre, pre filled results sheets, a number of them yesterday. Oh, so, and you have, evidence of, them, you have number, evidence of that. Very well. And again, I also gave you some, res some results sheets mm -hmm. from original results sheets. Uh, maybe, maybe you can highlight, right. highlight, highlight maybe, some of them. Maybe the producers you will can see pull it how, You will see how mutilated the results sheets are. You will see where P a PDP votes were cancelled and, and reduced. This, this is an example of one. You know, PDP votes there, cancelled and reduced, while that of APC increased. I have about 10 of such results here. All of this is just an example, but I have more than 200 results, all this, mutilated like one this. Of, one of this is in Okei. This is, uh, this is LGA Okei. School, yes. Iru Vechi 2. Iru Vechi 2. Yeah. In so, Okei local government. There is another one from uh, Okei, LGA School, Iru Vechi 2. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, host of uh, Okei, yes, there's a lot of Okei yes, results. There's there. one, the Kina one there, you can see it. There are so many. Look at them. A PDP votes deliberately cancelled and reduced, and APC votes increased. And there are 72 polling units where I won elections in local, local government. At the point of announcement, they say there are no result sheets. They say there are no result sheets. Result sheets now manifested at the collation center. Mahmoud Yakubu is having, he, he, he's got kids. He has no fear of God. He's the, he's the problem with our democracy. Do you think Mamu Yakubo has a direct hand in all of this? How will Yaya Bello and APC have access to original resource sheets without Mamu Yakubo's cooperation? How did a, a youth core member who is engaged by INEC have one million naira in, uh, in our bag on the day of election? How did you get to know that? It's, the video is everywhere. I can send it to you right away. It's everywhere. We have nev I've never seen this type of fraud in my life. I've seen rigging, I've seen inflation of results, I've seen snatching of ballot papers. But what we saw in Kogi yesterday is legendary. It's shameful. Mahmoud Yakubu must cancel the election in Kogi State. Go and check the back end result. It is disgraceful. When you say it's back, embarrassing. When you say back end, yeah. you're meaning at the INEC At the server. INEC, yes. And you have the back end. I have it. How did you get it? That is left to me. I'm a private investigator, certified private investigator. So you have all of this? That is what I've just so is, I gave is, you a copy. Okay, that's what you have. That, yeah, that's, that's what, what we have on the screen that's right what, now. And I challenge Mahmoud, as we are speaking, to print a copy of their back end. If this so is it different is. what is on the IREV right now? They are, they've started changing it, but they, but they have been stupid because we already, have, we already downloaded what was um, um, posted yesterday to today. We already have it full, downloaded. The discrepancies are so glaringly or clear. It's there, you cannot even think about it. It's there. And how can INEC promise Nigerians? We thought they would improve on their mess in February. But what they have done now is that they become more brazen. They become bolder. They are saying to hell. And these people have children. These people think they have a future. And they think there is no, there's no God factor in the affairs of men. And a, a country that is supposed to be moving forward, completely this result, I, I weep for this country. In fact, shown there was a country. There was a country. It is painful, not because of me. For me, Dino Melaya, I am okay. For what I will eat and drink and train my children, God has provided to God be the glory. It's not about me. But it's about generations yet unborn. It's about doing the right thing in this country. It's about indoctrinating our children with right rudiments and right values. 
How will a child explain that on the same Arab portal, the, accredi the, the accreditation on paper is different from accreditation on the RF? Where, where on earth can you have 151,000 registered voters? I'm not saying PVC collected. And 97% and of 97% of people who registered, registered voters, voted. Nobody died. Nobody <laughs> in the whole country. If you get 35% uh, people voting from PVC collected, it's a good result. If you get 40%, it's a good result. But how can you explain that 97% of PVC, not PVC collected, of registered voters voted in Okene, voted in Adavi, voted in Okegi. Your, 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 your assumption, uh, Senator Melaye, is that this is uh, uh, your allegations are, uh, uh, in respect of the fact that it may be a collusion between INEC and a political party. Is that, is it that is what you're not saying? an assumption, it is not an allegation. It's a statement of fact that I have proven to you with documents. No, I have given you more than, two, more than 15 documents this evening. If you want to show Nigerians, let Nigerians see all the documents I've shown you. The last one I showed you, show Nigerians and let people see. The documents don't lie. Documents don't lie. And that's see, look at, the kind of, look at the kind of results. Look at the manipulation. Look at, look at the cancellation. Look at the correction. Is it look, the original the result that has been taken to it, for this, the collation? This is what we have on the RF. This is what was posted on the RF. This is the original results that we were given. Your party agents have... Oh, the, we have the all this, and it's not... You, you go yourself as you are sitting here. No, no, we're somebody checking to check it. it. Yeah, we're checking They it. are the ones there. And it is on this mutilated result, on this cancellated result, that the, uh, the, the, the stooge of Yaya Bello was declared. It is based on this fraud that it was declared. And INEC is aware. INEC knew that five local governments... Results were written before the election. Have you, and that spread is not only to those five local governments. And it's across the state. 17 local governments in Kogi State have overvoted. Over 17. Senator Melaye, have you officially communicated this grievance? We, to have, INEC? we have submitted our petition to INEC with evidence this afternoon. So, what is your next line of action? Our next line of action is that INEC have seven days to review petitions. So, we are waiting to see what they will do. But this one, we will see the end of it. This, we must, as in an unjust society, silence is a crime. Within the confines of law, we will make sure that the writing is done. Nigeria is not a banana republic. Nigeria is not a state where APC is Lord Alpha and Omega. No! The government is not owned by those in government. Government is owned by the people. Democracy will continue to be government of the people, by the people and for the people. It will never one day become greedocracy as APC is trying to do. Greedocracy is government of the greedy, by the greedy and for the greedy. We will not allow it. Nigerians must rise up and stop this fraud. How, why, why can't we organize a decent election? If you win, you are satisfied in your conscience that you won. How can you be carrying an illegitimate mandate and you are comfortable so and you, you are happy? You imagine, because uh, PDP candidate in Bayelsa won the election. So uh, do you think that all of this process was all about Kogi and the only... Uh, that only My brother, happened? I am not in Bayelsa. I was not in Bayelsa. I cannot comment on Bayelsa. I was in Kogi and I saw what happened in Kogi. I don't have the celestial powers to be in two places at the same time. I am talking about Kogi State, where I was. I have I've also discussed with my agents. I have shown you documented evidence of mutilations, cancellations, suppression of votes. The, a meeting held, and they said Dino Melaye must not come second. Because if he comes second, it's dangerous. He can knock this guy off. So he must become a distant third. There was no election. There was only allocation of votes. So on the votes were allocated. On the Buri Ajaka should not be excited that he won one or two, three local governments in the east. It was allocated. The same thing happened in February election, where Lagos was given to Labour. Labour should not think they won Lagos. It was deliberate. The mathematics was done. The arithmetic was done. Kwankwaso was given Kanu, knowing fully well that other states have been padded. That is exactly the same formula that was used in Kogi State. So, and 17 local governments over voting. What INEC ought to have done? Let Mahmoud Yakubu swear by the, the Holy Quran that there was no report 
by the field officers for cancellation in, in this local government. Senator Malaya, we need to leave it at this, and uh, we're hoping that whatever your uh, uh, efforts in pushing this legally within the confines of the law, do let us know. Thank you so much indeed. Thank you very and much. I and I wish you the very best. God bless you. Thank man. you so much indeed.